spring get ready with me for you guys today and um, I was really inspired by some other people's spring videos so I wanted to make one. I am on spring break right now. I hope everyone's having a good spring break if it's yours right now. I'm so inspired you're probably like cut it. Those clothes that you're going to be wearing, is, they're not springy colors. Yeah I know but it's still like in the 50s, 60s and if we're lucky 70s where I live right now so it's not super sunny. I'm not going on vacation this spring break but I will be going on some trips coming up and in the summer. If you're not following me on social media, make sure you are. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and all that fun stuff. And I I want to make a Snapchat for you guys to be on it. I have like a personal one right now, but it's like my friends are on it and it's kind of hard. But if you guys want me to make one for like you guys, definitely like this video or comment down below. And make sure you put in the comment down below some videos you guys want me to make. Um, so yeah, if you guys want me to do a what I got for Easter kind of haul, that would be kind of cool. So yeah. If you guys like this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup, my hair, and my outfit in this video. So yeah, I hope you guys like it and let's just get into the makeup. To start off the makeup, I'm going to be using this Clinique, Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer and it's in the oily kind and I'm just going to be putting that all over my skin to moisturize and this helps as a base to my makeup. And then for concealer, I'm going to be using this one by Maybelline. It's one of my favorites and I'm just going to be applying this to my under eyes, you know, to just to cancel out those circles because I got bad under eye circles. And I'm just going to blend it out with my finger because I feel like this concealer is best blended out that way. And to set those under eyes, I'm going to be using the lighter shade in the NYX um, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. So I'm just going to be taking my Real Techniques setting brush and I'm going to set it with the powder from that palette. And yeah. Next, I'm going to be using this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation, and I'm going to be applying this to my forehead and just kind of around my cheeks and where I need that foundation, and I'm just going to blend it in with the sponge that it gives you because that's what it's recommended to be used with. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to really press it in, and this foundation is really nice because it is not going to, like, dry out my skin because right now my skin is not um it does get a little bit dry so yeah i'm gonna press that in real nice but i'm not going to put a lot on then for powder i'm gonna be using the it cosmetics bye 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 pores powder this is one of my favorites at the time and i'm gonna be putting this in my t-zone with the little um sponge or not sponge uh, pad that it gives me and it, this really helps my skin to stay matte because i have pretty oily skin in the t-zone for blush, I'm going to be using the Sigma blush, and if you guys want this one, you guys can go on my Sigma code and you guys can get a discount. I'm going to be applying it with just my Tarte blush brush, and this is just going to give me a nice like pink kind of glow, and I feel like this is a really pretty color for spring because it's very bright and vibrant pink. Then back into the NYX contour palette, and I'm just going to be taking one of the brown shades and I'm going to contour with it. I do not contour a lot, I just do it a little bit because I don't like to put too much on because I feel like I'm a little bit too young for a lot of contouring. But I like to just warm up my face a little bit, be, little bit because my face is not tan right now, which, which I wish it was. <laughs> Next, for highlighter, I'm just going to be using this Laura Geller one, and I'm just going to be taking a fan brush that I have from Eco Tools and putting that on. This highlighter is not very, like, sparkly or shiny, but I like it because it's very subtle. And then for eye primer, you know which one I'm using. This is my Holy Grail eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay, and I'm just going to put this on both of my eyelids, and this eyeshadow primer literally makes my eyeshadow stay on forever and my color or the eye color is very vibrant and then I'm just going to go in with an oldie but a goodie and it's the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. I have not used this palette in a while but I really wanted to bring out some of the colors and I love it for spring. I'm going to start with that color called Half Bake which is just like a gold kind of color and I'm going to put that onto my lid with this Sigma medium shader brush which is my like new favorite shader brush for eyeshadow. I feel like it's a really nice one. So if you guys want to get that one, you guys can use my Sigma link that's below. Then in my crease, I'm going to take this other color called Tease in the palette, and it's just this matte brown. And I'm going to put that into my crease. I'm just going to blend it with a Sigma blending brush. And yeah, I'm not going to go real, real defined, but I'm just going to put it in just to create some definition to my eyes. 
to create that. even more definition, I'm going to take a darker brown that's in the palette and just put that into the outer corner and um, put it up in the crease. And I'm going to make sure it's blended out. And then I'm going to take this color called Booty Call, and I'm going to, it's like a champagne color in the palette, and I'm going to put that into the inner corners also on my brow bone. So there's no harsh lines and that everything is blended out good. I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush and blend my whole entire eyeshadow look out so it's all nice and seamless. So then I'm going to take this gold eyeliner from NYX and I'm going to put it to the like outer half of my bottom uh, like lash line. And this is just going to kind of pop my eyes a little bit more and it's really pretty. And then taking the Essence Super Fine Liner and I'm going to put the eyeliner on my eyes or line my eyes. I don't know how to talk today. I'm sorry guys. So yeah, I'm going to line my eyes with that. I kind of am going to have this on fast forward because it's kind of self-explanatory and if you need help doing eyeliner, there's lots of videos out there and it really just takes time and practice. And then for mascara, I'm going to be using this one by Still. It's called the Huge One. And this one I got as a sample size. And I'm loving it and I wanted to use it today. The brush is like really nice and the formula makes my lashes really big and bold. And I did get a little bit of mascara on my eyelids, so I'm just going to take a Q-tip and wipe it off really easily. And that's what I like to do at the end of every look. So then with my Sigma lip liner, and I'm just going to line my lips with this. And if you guys want this lip liner, um, I will have a code down below where you can get it. And I'm going to line my lips with it, and then I'm going to use this Rimmel, the only one lipstick in, uh, I forgot the color, I think it's like You're All Mine, and I'm just going to put that on my lips. And it's a really vibrant, like, pink color, very basic, kind of like Barbie pink. And then that is just the final makeup look. Now on to like hair and that kind of stuff. I, I want to mention the hair products I've been using. For shampoo and conditioner, I've been using these PYT Argan Oil and uh, shampoo and conditioner. And these are really nice. They make my hair really moisturizing and healthy. And um, I was actually sent them from Actily, which you guys can sign up for. Also, I'm going to put some dry shampoo in from PYT. This one's really nice and it's really refreshing to the hair. And it smells amazing. And also, this was sent to me from Octoly. So, I'm just going to put that in my hair. And it's really nice to make sure my hair is, like, refreshed and ready for everything. And then also from PYT, I'm going to take this Super Serum, which this is going to help my hair to be manageable, shiny, no frizz, and it's going to help um, the heat that I'm going to be using on it with my flat iron. So I'm just going to really focus this to the bottom half of my hair and really work it into my ends and where my hair is going to get most damaged. And this is going to really help um, resist all the heat damage and help going to make my hair look healthier and um, uh, very manageable and soft and silky. So then I'm just going to flat iron my hair, and flat ironing hair, flat ironing hair is very easy, um, and I'm just going to be using any flat iron you want you can use. Mine's just my mom's, yeah. And I'm just going to flat iron my hair, and my hair takes very, like, no time since my hair is so thin, but I really like flat ironing it and curling it, but I wanted to do flat iron this time. So that's just the finished hair, and I hope you guys liked that. I haven't flat ironed my hair in a while on camera, so yeah. For my outfit, I have this shirt from Hollister, and it's like black and has this tie up on the front, and it's, you know, kind of in style this spring. Also with my Alex Nanny bracelets and these earrings that are from Aeropostale, and these jeans are just from Abercrombie and Fitch, and they're just basic jeans, and I'm going to be wearing these black Converse's. Very basic outfit, but I've been really liking it, and I just wanted to wear this outfit when I'm going to lunch to, with Bri at Brio with my friends today and out to shop a little bit. So yeah, that's just the finished hair, makeup, and outfit. I really hope you guys like this video. I love you guys all so much, and yeah, bye guys. Mwah. Hey guys, it's Claudia, and today I'm just going to be doing a